Good afternoon, everyone. How are we doing today? It is a roaster here in the workshop. It is like, I think it's like 33, 34 degrees Celsius outside. So I don't know, what's that? Maybe 85, something like that. Maybe more. And in the workshop, it's even hotter. <clears throat> We've been shooting off earlier this week because it was getting to like 40 degrees. And when you hit 40 degrees, the machines don't want to work. And it, <sighs> nobody wants to work in 40 degree heat, do they? So, yeah. Fun and games. Anyway, so I've got you here to show you what we're doing, show you a bit of the process, show you how we do things, I think. And um, we have, uh, so we've got the CNC behind me. See ya, beauty. So, at the moment, how we're working it is we are just using nails. I don't know if you can see this. So we just pin these in. So we put a board on, pin it in. You can see where we did the accuracy check on it again this morning. So put the board on. Put the pin it in because it doesn't matter because we're using because what we've got isn't cut to size, right? Whereas now I've got some signs over there on the drying rack that we're going to want to see and see through. Wow, I've got a proper sweat on, eh? But yeah, so we've got some signs on over there that we're going to see and see through, and so we need another way to hold it. Before we had what's called a cam system, so it was like a uh, like an L shape like that, and then you drilled a bunch of holes in the board and put some wooden dowels in and you just cranked it round and it just cammed onto the board and held it in place. It worked great, but for some of the softer materials like the pine, cedar, or some of the softer plywoods that we use, it was uh, rubbish because it would dent the edge of the board and there was always a risk with the softer stuff that it might pop out when you're doing maybe a bit of an aggressive cut or something, so we don't want that. So the plan now is, is to use uh, like a hold down. So, done a file for the board which I'll show you in a minute uh, we've got these cam clamps which uh, they're basically the ones that you get on inventables so like for the X-Carve or the Shape OK so yeah they work great they work well and then we've got I went pop to the pop to the shop this morning and picked up a bunch of T-nuts and bolts and fixings and stuff so we should be able to get it squared away so um, yeah give it a go see what you think Right then, so yes, these are the cam clamps. So what we've done here is we've laser cut this out of two pieces of six mil, and um, and then just stuck it together. We use just like we use like a, a super glue by Hayfell, which is it's just CA glue. It's just mate, just cheap super glue. 
and it works perfectly. But yeah, we've cut it out of two pieces of six mil. You know, you can if you've got CNC, you can see CNC them out. You don't need a laser machine. You could uh, you could cut them with a jigsaw or a scroll saw if you needed to. But use what you got. We're a business. We need to uh, time is money and all that, right? So yeah, so happy days, eh? Right, best get to drilling, and we'll crack on with the uh, with the spoil board. So, got it drilling, a little bit, but I don't know if you all can see, watch as it goes in. Uh, you can't really tell now because it slowed the speed rate down a lot. But, so anybody who works with the CNC knows that when you're drilling, because it's going straight down, it's putting the most force on the machine. So. Ideally, really, you wouldn't use a drill bit. However, there's a couple of issues. Number one being that I've got pins that were that snapped off, like nails that snapped off in the board, so if they hit one of my router bits, that sucks. Whereas if I hit a drill bit, it only costs a few quid. Not an issue. Um, so yeah, so that's really the main reason, is because I don't want to lose a router bit or a carbide bit or something like that. Now, why are we doing it like this? So we, obviously, we have, Turn this around. We have the whole board set up, and so it's eight, eight foot by four foot machines. So we've got the whole board set up. Uh, however, we at the moment with a lot of the signage work that we've just been doing, we've only been using this section here. So it seems pointless setting it all up for everything because the bits that we need to hold down will just go in this section. So what we're going to do is we're going to sink, sink even some of these T nuts. Yeah. No, nah, doesn't want to know that. There we go. Look. So we've got a bunch of these. So these are eight mil across for M6s, and they're nine mil deep. This board here is 16 mil deep because obviously we took a couple uh, mil off when we surfaced it. And um, so yeah, so one of those is going to go into each one of these holes, and then we're going to have one maybe two in the in these clamps so I'm thinking we'll have one in this back part here and what's going to happen is we're going to screw it down oh no back part yeah I think so no the front part is going to go into the board and into these t-nuts that's right and then the back part will have a t-nut in and we're going to have one of these pieces that pokes through like that so the T-nut will tighten down through, it will tighten down on here, that will tighten in there, and then that's going to provide you downward pressure, I hope, I don't know. I've not done this before, so I saw something on YouTube, that's where everybody learns, right? So we'll uh, give it a go and see.
getting hotter. I'm going to go home in a minute. This is uh, getting ridiculous. Minging, absolutely minging. Right, so this is where we're at now then, right? So, this is what we've built. So, focus. Right, if you can see underneath there. So we've got these domed head bolts here. So we've got a domed head bolt there, right? And then what that means is, there we go. And then we've got a hex bolt there with a little nut and a washer in. Now, we're tightening up the nut and the washer on this hex bolt. And what that's doing is it's pinching this between here and the T nut in the bottom. And then we are um, pushing this down, tightening this up. So I've got a little spanner here, which fits onto these. Uh, square sections and then as we tighten this up it pushes this bolt into the spoil board which then creates a little bit of leverage on here we've got two there and that's nice and tight or a little bit loose ah, nice and tight it's all good it's tight enough for what we need it for anyway but I think going forward what changes would we make we would probably be nice to put weld a nut onto here and then put like a gear on it so we could turn it so I don't need the spanner, that would be pretty awesome. Maybe cut these down so we don't need this nut, so we can just tighten that into the T-slot and that may be enough just to uh, pinch on the end of the board there, but yeah, for a, a quick couple hour job, I'm quite pleased with how these come out. Like I said, you can pick the file for these up off of uh, Inventables, I think it is. So, well worth a look. Like I said, you don't need a laser cutter for this or a CNC to be able to do these bits. Well, if you didn't have a CNC, you wouldn't be using it, would you? But yeah, you don't need to have a uh, laser machine to cut these out. You can cut them on your CNC. It's just it's quicker, it's easier, and more precise. So use what you got. But yeah, happy days, eh? It's cool, man. Hope you like it, and uh, we'll keep them coming. Take it easy. Have fun. Oh, and let me know what you think below. Yeah. Take it easy man, have fun. I'm going home for a bit. Uh.